In HBO's Oz, we follow the life of the inmates of the Oswald State Correctional Facility, in particular the inhabitants of Emerald City, unit manager Tim McManus's experimental wing of the prison where things are a little different and prisoners have more leeway. Oz is home to a collection of ultra-violent, psychopathic and utterly deranged prisoners. For sure, two of the most evil men at Oz, if not the most evil, are Simon Adebisi and Vern Schillinger. Schillinger! Just move the fuck on. Adebisi is a terrifying, towering built Nigerian serving a life sentence for beheading an undercover cop with a machete. That kind of sums up what kind of character he is. He is one of the most recognisable and dangerous inmates in Emerald City, with his small little hat which mysteriously stays on his head. Fearless and savage, Adebisi is also cunning and intelligent, which acts as a gateway for him to become the most powerful inmate in the entire unit in Season 4. Some of his more brutal acts include the raping of the semi-conscious Peter Shibeta, pricking Antonio Napa with a HIV-infected needle, and burning the skin of Poet and Junior Pierce with hot food. Schillinger, Schillinger is the head of the Aryan Brotherhood in Oz, a staunch racist who initially serves an eight-year sentence for beating a black drug dealer with a crowbar. There is surely no more evil primary character in Oz than Schillinger, right? Schillinger. Even Adebisi has moments of humanity, such as when he stops Wangler from stealing Ribadao's money for his grandson, saying, sometimes it's good to be a little human. Schillinger, though, is as bad as it gets, continuously raping, humiliating and psychologically torturing Tobias Beecher and other weaker white inmates who he enslaves as prags. Schillinger has this sadistic streak, having fun with his prags before often discarding them, like when he has Beecher walk past black inmates with a confederacy flag, hoping that Beecher will be murdered. He has a man murdered at one point just to up the Aryan's reputation at Oz. He arranges for the murder of his own son after he turns away from Aryan beliefs and has Beecher's infant children kidnapped on the outside, ordering the murder of one of them and sending the child's hand to Beecher. I suppose if we're looking for positives with Vern, we could say that he did look like he regretted what he did to Beecher's kid when he found out Beecher meant no harm in arranging a meeting between Schillinger and his son, and he did agree to protect Augustus Hill when Hill testifies against Malcolm Cole, who murdered an innocent family, as Schillinger is a family man and he respects that the father of the murdered family died while serving in Vietnam. Today I wanted to pose a question for you, and that is, who would you rather share a cell with, Adebisi or Schillinger? Schillinger. Imagine you're a young, naive new prisoner, not connected or mobbed up, relatively normal, and there's an option between the two. Who do you pick? Essentially, the choice that Beecher unknowingly had, who was initially paired with Adebisi, and after Adebisi gets up close and personal with him, Schillinger recommends he moves in with him, with Beecher of course not knowing what horrors lay in store for him as Schillinger's cellmate. You have to consider your safety, your mental well-being, and of course, <clears throat> certain uh, nocturnal activities. Both men are unpredictable and violent, and I imagine you're not going to be having a great time either way. Even still, from an average day-to-day -day kind of thing, I think living with Adebisi might be less dangerous than living with Schillinger. For one, in general, he seems to leave people alone unless they're in his way, in terms of whatever game or plan he's got cooked up. Most of his violence is directed towards his enemies, in particular the Italians as they are rivals in the Emerald City drug trade. Schillinger, on the other hand, clearly takes great pleasure in humiliating his prey. He actually enjoys it, pushing Beecher to great lengths for no other reason than his own amusement. And it's not as if he develops any affection towards his prags over time. He seems to get as much kicks at devising ways to kill them as he does humiliate them. Living with Schillinger must be a torturous experience. Of course, physical retaliation against both seems pointless. Adebisi is built like a boulder and would easily get the better of you, chuckling to himself and adjusting his headphones as he slaps you away effortlessly. Your only hope is to get him when he isn't looking, like shanking him in the night or something. And if you're successful, hopefully you'll be home free, with of course a death penalty hanging over your head. 
Schillinger would be easier to get the better of physically. In fact, Beecher even did so, didn't he? But your problem there is that Schillinger has the Aryans in his corner, so if any harm comes to them, they will make sure harm comes to you, and they've proven they can get to your loved ones on the outside too. So you're pretty much stuck. At least with other BC, he's a lone wolf, and killing him might actually make people in Oz respect and fear you. Then again, he does become the leader of the homeboys, who become the most powerful gang in Emerald City. Of course, who you are must factor into the equation too. If, say, you're a black man, Schillinger probably won't want to go near you. I mean, he might knife you in your sleep, but it's unlikely as he's only serving an eight-year sentence, later having it extended by ten. So he's got something to lose, whereas Adebisi is a lifer. So he might not directly cause you violence, and if you're black, you might get lucky with Schillinger completely ignoring you, or even going to McManus and asking for either you or himself to be transferred. If you're white, you're probably screwed with Vern because you're gonna be screwing with Vern, unless you're part of the Brotherhood. There was one occasion where a Prague became part of the Brotherhood after proving himself, but if you want to go down this road, you'll be losing your humanity and probably your freedom, as you'll have to kill someone to get in with them. Adebisi, on the other hand, as far as I can remember, has never really gone out of the way to excessively harm those who are not part of his plans. It could be that he ropes you in on some scheme, where you have to become a scapegoat for a crime, transport drugs or something like that, who knows? And as shown with Beecher, you'd have to accept a completely submissive role where he takes complete ownership of everything you have. Although he was a drug addict who became unstable at times because of his addiction, so maybe he kills you by accident while he's high. Would he violate you? I'm not so sure. It's never confirmed if he did abuse Wangler in this way. I always assumed he did, but it's open to interpretation. Other than that, as far as I can remember, his rape victims have been enemies he was looking to humiliate and degrade. He also stinks. I remember it being mentioned that Adebisi has a bad smell about him, which must be a nightmare if you're sharing a cell with him. But if it came to a toss-up between the two, I think with Adebisi, worst case, day to day, You'll wake up every morning to a smelly cell and a really sore ass, with all your possessions taken and a generally miserable experience whenever you have to be in your cell. With Schillinger though, it's a whole different story. Psychological torture, mentally broken, your family threatened and when it's all said and done he'll probably end up killing you anyway. He goes out of his way to make things as horrible as possible for Beecher, even when others wouldn't have bothered. I'd go with Adebisi. Heck, maybe you'll get lucky and you'll be housed with Adebisi when he was going through his weird period where he was all mellow and calm. Or you'll be housed with Schillinger when he is awaiting his parole meeting and wants to be seen as good. Or that period where he momentarily became religious. You can always get lucky, but in Oz, that's unlikely. So who would you prefer being sold with? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.